Hey guys, what's up? Ty Ty the Gamer Guy here, and welcome back to some more Kirby Star Allies Heroes in Another Dimension. In the last episode, all my friends got murdered by Parallel Woods after I talked about him being so being easy, even though he's supposed to be an easier version of Wispy Woods. I take back everything I said about him. <laughs> he's definitely the easiest of the Parallel Bosses, but he's definitely not easy. To say the least. Anyway, this episode we're going to be going into the second portal. And judging by what went on in the last one, you, you probably have an idea of what's going to happen in this one. Take the elevator down, even though it's not an elevator, but it's like an elevator, so therefore I'm making it an elevator. Elevators in another dimension. I wish this, I wish this music would play instead of elevator music. <gasps> yes, staff. I love me some staff. TBH, I would love to see like, like a me archer and a me staff fighter being a Smash Ultimate. And speaking of that, yeah, looking at my playtime, you can probably tell how much of my time that I could have been recording was spent. <laughs> yeah, this game seriously is way too fun for my own good. <laughs> Oh wait, hold on. We, we need a uh, zap, I think. Or at least not yet, I don't think. Maybe. And a pogo hop across. I love that move. There's um, zap. Or what I'll do, he's gonna give me zap. There we go. Th -th -th Thunder! Which I, I really, that's one thing I kind—I really wish that I could do was roll my R's like how Luigi says thunder in in a Superstar Saga, and do that. It'll send some electricity across the water and pop that for us. Well, not necessarily pop it, but just hit it for us in general. And pogo hop, pogo hop, pogo hop, wrong way. There we go. Heart and a puzzle piece. Boom, 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 boom! Do that. I'll hit that and get the heart. Get the heart. Get the heart. There we go. There's a one sw some swing part, swing part that's not coming up next, but coming up later on. That's actually kind of hard to get all the heart pieces. Or well, heart pieces. What is this? I don't know. Just the uh, hearts in general. Oh no 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 no! Okay. Go away, fish. I don't want you. I don't eat sushi. Or sometimes I do, but not all the time. I generally don't eat raw fish, but I like to eat raw squid. Uh, I don't know. That's just me. And we're here. We have... Rick, Kine, and Koo. So yeah, we're going to be using all of the dream friends throughout these portals. So this portal will focus on the dream friends that came out in wave one, and the second one will be wave two, and the last one will be wave three. And yeah, we actually we're actually using Kine. Kine barely sees any actual game on screen time in in this game because he's only usable in the water. He does have one attack on land, but it's very ineffective, and so therefore he doesn't get a lot of screen time. And there, and then again, he's not not yeah, kind of not surprising again, considering that he is generally the butt of the joke. And, aw, he's even in a, he even has his own little swimming tube, even though he's a fish and he can you know survive just fine on the water surface. And this is his only attack that's on land, so yeah, kind doesn't see very much screen time. Again, right here, you want to use uh, uh, Rick's fire, but be careful when using using it because you don't want to free that Gordo. Puzzle piece and a key. Noisy, noise, noise. And oh, uh, I just noticed he's not even using his arm to carry; he's just bouncing it on his head. Now, uh, Rick is a blessing; he really is. Nope, oh, another key. But we're gonna leave that right there really quick because right here we have to cut these ropes with Koo. Koo, use Razor Leaf, even though it's not actually Razor Leaf, more like Razor Feather or I guess, uh, I don't know. Aerial Ice maybe? I don't know. Anyway, right here, I know that this puzzle right here stumped, stumped the hell out of me on my first playthrough and I know it stumped a lot of people too. But here's what you have to do, is remember, 
Hold on. Right there at the very bottom. Stomp. Stomp on enemies as Rick. Rick can bounce off of enemies. But it's not just enemies that he can bounce off of. He can also bounce off of their attacks. Like right here. Boom. Uh, that wasn't a very good demonstration. Because I failed to do the extra jump thing where I go higher. But you get the point. Is that Rick can bounce off enemies' attacks. That's what you're supposed to do. I know this part confused the hell out of a lot of people. It- oh yes. Marks. Marks is amazing, to say the least. Like, <clears throat> for a while, he was he was definitely the most broken character in the game. And yes, I said for a while. I do think a dream from that got added later on has ta has um taken his spot as a broken dream friend. Let's go ahead and use Zap Marks and a recruit from Chili just for the hell of it. Do 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 do. -do. I love this song. If we get more Kirby music, I really want um, a Planet Tawara, Castle DDD, and this song. This game in general has a really good soundtrack, and actually, this game has my favorite soundtrack in the in the in the series. Well, this is well, my favorite soundtrack from just like the regular levels, not my favorite boss battle themes. But uh, sorry, Waddle Do. You're your death will not be in vain because I still inherit your elemental power. Don't get that hard! Oh boy, that was close. But not close enough. Sorry, Chili. But that Chili I had earlier was good, so I hope that makes up for it. Boom. Was that Marsh you can do that little arrow spam? spam oh, this place. Yeah, this is the place I was talking about. Hold on. How do I want to go about this? Okay, there's that. Got one. You know, go through the platform, please. How do I get the... How do I... Hold on. Oh, no. No! Okay, well, I missed one. Oh, no! Get the puzzle pieces! Get the puzzle pieces! Come on, get the puzzle pieces. And go away, Bugsy. You're not needed. Gonna sit up here, and this is def this is why Marx was once the most broken dream friend. And there we go. Yummy, sucked him up. Okay, that makes me go a little bit slower. And we have Gooey, who is personally my least favorite dream friend. Sorry for any Gooey mains out there, but that's my opinion on him. He's a fun character, to say the least, but he's just my least favorite out of them. Oh, Jammer Jab. Recruiting him. And then let's give him the splash. Oh, I guess this would technically be, be Saliva Staff. But, oh well. Kirby logic. Oh, and right here? You want to do that for me? Or like, I, well, I could do it too, but I don't know. I just felt like being lazy, that's all. Punch that in, or well not punch it, just I guess just like stone it back in. And I like how like the patterns in these blocks don't move whenever we move. It reminds me of the art style that I used it on Chowder. Ooh, right here. Time it. There we go. Another heart piece, and right here, we also want to time it. There we go. Embrace my inner dark matter. No, and melt, melt that. And now we can do it, or miss it entirely. Or miss it entirely again. There we go. Third time's a charm, as they say. Oh, get rid of him. Oh, wait a minute. We need the friend throw. We are. Thank you very much. Although you missed one. Oh wait! Oh, I just realized this. Um, this part of the song is from uh, Nightmare in Dreamland, I think. Anything up here? I'm pretty sure there's something up here. Food. Uh, thanks, I guess. 
And now we're back to Ice Kirby. Or well, at least Kirby in general. Okay, just making sure that my recording was still going on, because I finally fixed that problem where my recording would mess up after I just, after I um, pressed the, uh, the stop recording button. Excuse me. Okay. Um, ow. Oh, wait, we need, uh, we need him. Alright, let's make some friends. Come on over, Beatly. Yeah, and you too, Beatly Jr., or Greatly, as I would say, as I should say, because he's green. <laughs> I'm so lame. All aboard the hype train! Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm recording this at 6.47 at night. I'm honestly kind of surprised that I, you know, I haven't been uh, told to you know, be shushed. And uh, I hate this part. You need the you need the, you need the time um, the areas where you need to like press down, and you, so, you sometimes you even need you even need to jump <clears throat> to get the timing right. It's weird. But let's see. But oh god, this one. Come on, come on. Oh, was that it? Yes, that was it. Oh, thank God. I was never able to do that on my personal on my personal playtime through this. So I got to get a heart that I never got to get my on personal save file. So that's fantastic. Oh, dream friend Rod, let's get let's get one of the newer dream friends. Here we have the best boy, Magalore. Or I guess he's technically Marks 2.0. We love him, but we can't exactly trust him. Or, well, we, we can trust him more than Mark's, definitely, but he's still a sneaky boy. And let's get the... the cutie patootie, Susie. Get rid of... B uh, blue Su uh, Susie actually looks kind of good with blue hair, to be honest. Oh, I missed that heart. We'll get the play as those, two, as those two shortly enough, don't you worry. And we're coming up on the boss, and I do not want to use ice for this boss. I want to use- oh, another dream friend. Might as well get Taranza while we're at it. Or another Susie. No, I want Taran- Okay, or we could just disappear. In the Dream Palaces, if you press B when you have you know, the two to, uh, to decline, they'll give you a second chance, but here, apparently not. Uh, how do I want to go about this? I used Whip in my personal place, in my personal save file. Do I want to go with Whip again, or do I want to go with... Hmm. Let's go with Whip. I like this ability, and let's get B an element. Zap Whip, I'll take it. Magalore can also give you um the can also give you fire, but I'll take Zap. Cause basically, I guess the Zap any Zap with any ability is pretty good because how much range it has. Let's see. Okay, well, okay. Well, with Whip, it's not that it's not too great. But like with most Zap weapons, they they cause like in a lightning ball to hit all the way from the top of the screen. Oh wait, never mind. I kind of regret getting. Wait, no, wait, no, never mind. I forget. He's not. He's not weak to Zap, but he definitely there's an, an attack that he does that's weak to it. And I f was thinking of a different boss when going in here, so I probably should have gotten Ice with a few things, but that's not gonna happen. Come on. Anyway, right here we have Parallel Twin Krakow. I didn't read his, read his um, subtitle thing, but oh well. Yes! Slice them up with that Ultra Sword Magalore. But we're not done yet. They fuse and become... Parallel Big Cracko. Just a Cracko, just another single Cracko, but bigger. And this guy can be kind of a doozy, not gonna lie. I don't think he does any, any uh, attacks that you know make him weak to Ice and uh, Electric or Thunder. Or spark, as I should say. 
or Plasma. They keep switching the names around for the um, electric abilities. It, it keeps going from Spark to Plasma. It's just so confusing. And I hate this move. Moan, moan, moan. Yeah, Big Krakow is not too bad. Now watch me jinx it because he just he covers up a lot of the screen. And you know, there's not a whole lot of room to run when he does that. Oh boy. Oh no, my ability. No, no, no. Okay, fine. Give me this instead. Actually, no. The um, the whip would have been better. Now that I think about it. Susie, no. I'll revive you, babe. Why did I say that? Oh boy, but I'm gonna be honest, Susie was definitely one of the best things that came out of Planet Robobot, and I think just about like 90% of the community will agree with me. Oh boy. I am so close to dying. Come on guys, come on fellas. The Beatly died. Five him. And ah, there we go. That was a close one. And, get, and we finally have the squad. Hope we finally have a whole squad for the celebration dance. That was very off key, but oh well. Oh, 28 hearts. I just missed two. Two. It was both of those in the water stage, and yes, that's a that's a much better representation of Triple Deluxe in in the, um, the artwork. As I said in the last episode, the um, the original one was so just like disappointing and lackluster. This one's so much better. And 14. This one, yeah, yep, yeah, that one's for Planet Robobot because I could see I could barely see Susie's eyeball. And with that, we have finished the second Another Dimension. And so, in the next episode, we'll be doing the third one. I will see you guys next time.